Our proposal to force New York City's fast food restaurants to make their kids' meals healthier has the potential to curb childhood obesity. That's according to researchers. The so-called Happy Meals Bill is looking to lower calories, fat, and sodium in meals marketed to kids using toys and prizes. It is the latest in a series of attempts in the city to get restaurant outlets to offer less fattening options. I'm joined now by New York City Councilman Ben Kalos, who introduced the bill. Thank you for being uh, with us. So just, just outline for us how big a problem is uh, childhood obesity where you are, and to what extent do you think this might serve as a template for similar initiatives beyond New York? Half of the children entering our public schools are overweight, according to the Department of Health. And uh, more than a quarter of children's calories are coming from restaurants. And uh, what we see is the fast food industry is spending at least $700 million a year, starting in 2009, on advertising just to children. And of that, half of that is on toys. So the thought is, if we can incentivize children uh, with toys to eat healthy meals, uh, that will help us to make sure our kids grow up healthy and happy. But as, you, as I'm sure you know, there are powerful forces on the other side of this issue, namely uh, the food industry, uh, who fought hard on, on this at previous at attempts to, to try and get people to, to eat um, uh, healthier, and or at the very least they tried to water things down. They're not going to ease up on that, are, are they? Actually, we're seeing things in a different perspective. In the years since the last initiatives were proposed, uh, the fast food industry has proposed their own standards called uh, Kids Eat Well, and my legislation is actually modeled on it, and they've got over 200 restaurants participating in it. Uh, additionally, what we're seeing is from this NYU research study that was published in the American Journal of Pre Preventative Medicine, uh, when you have healthy options by default, the children are ha getting better food, at least by their parents purchasing, and not only that, but the restaurants are earning more revenue. So this is a win for parents, this is a win for restaurants, and a win for children. This is just something that everyone should be doing. As you know, there was, there was quite a big debate going on a couple of years back, uh, I believe it was, when uh, the previous uh, mayor of New York, Mayor Bloomberg, uh, introduced this uh, uh, law to, to, to ban the, uh, the big gulp uh, soft drinks. In, in the city uh, of New York. Um, and there was quite a, de a, a debate going on, on on the libertarian side, basically saying, if I want to have a big gulp of, of soda, that's, that's my business. And politicians should not be legislating against that. So what do you say to those who, who, who argue that this, this is kind of in the same arena? This is not a ban. And uh, this is actually focused on children. So what we see is that all we're saying is, if you want to package a toy, an incentive, with a meal uh, for a child, that it just has to be healthy. Uh, so that's where it's at. And uh, what we're seeing in the research is that uh, there's something called pester power, uh, which is when you market toys to children, and that's what the fast food industry is doing, uh, the children actually will pester their parents into getting things that are unhealthy. But what could happen here is uh, if this legislation passes in one of the biggest media markets in America, the advertising starts to change. So when they advertise those toys, those toys are coupled with healthy meals. And when you see $350 million or more of advertising on television telling you that the new normal is a bottled water, a fruit, and perhaps a grilled chicken or a fish sandwich, all of a sudden, that's what kids want because that's what's normal. That's what Ronald McDonald or other toys are telling you uh, that you should get. And that would have a huge impact on our eating habits and our children. Good to speak with you uh, on this. Uh, ben Kalis uh, joining us there from New York. Thanks for your time.